Welcome to the Network Marketing Made Simple podcast. I am your host, Scott Aaron, and each and every week, I'm going to come to you with short, simple, and powerful tactics of how you can grow your network marketing business, brand, bank account, and impact on those around you. And just remember, network marketing is not easy, but it can be made easy with simple steps to create the success that you truly deserve. Hi guys, and welcome back to another episode of Network Marketing Made Simple. And I'm super excited today because this is my first solo episode in seven months. When the pandemic hit and we all went on quarantine and lockdown in mid-March, I knew what people needed. They needed community. They needed more connection. So as you guys have been following along for the last seven months, I still do my two episodes per week, but they've been all interviews, which I know you guys love and I love as well. And there still is going to be an interview every single week. But I also know that you guys really loved my little 10-minute tip episodes, which we're going to get back to starting in this episode moving forward. So as you saw in the description and the title of this episode, we are going to go over five ways of how to find success in network marketing in 2020 and beyond. But more importantly, of those five things, what you should stop doing if you're not having the success that you want. Now, I'm also gonna leave a link, two links actually, in the description of this episode. Number one is a direct link to my latest book, The Marketing Workbook for LinkedIn, which is a compatible workbook to my first book, The LinkedIn Book for Network Marketing. It was a number one new release in five categories on Amazon. So thank you to everyone that has supported it. So it did hit the bestsellers. And I'm also going to leave a link to my growing free Facebook group called the Network Marketing Leads for Life group. There's over a thousand people in there now. So I'm going to leave a direct link. So anyone that hasn't gotten the new book, you can rate from the show notes, but also anyone that's not a part of my free group. Also, you can join that rate from this episode. So let's dive in. Number one, Focus on targeting and creating connection with people that you don't know. It's about getting uncomfortable. The old adage of targeting friends and family. And for those that don't know, this was this came about when network marketing first was brought into the business world, which was in the late 1800s with Amway and then other big companies that came after that because people, who do you know and who you knew was your friends and family. But with the advent of technology and social media, it's so important for us to really focus on expanding our networks. Because remember, as the adage goes, our networks are always in direct correlation to our net worth. So a small network will lead to a small net worth, but a large network will lead to a large net worth. So really focus on targeting and building new connections, new friends on Facebook, new followers on Instagram, new connections on LinkedIn, and don't try to sell or pitch. Just reach out to these people, see how you can network with each other, see what you're both doing, see how you can support one another. And if you are still targeting friends and family, that doesn't feel good. And it doesn't work. It worked at some point in network marketing time, but it's not working right now. So number one, really focus on targeting the people that you have just met or you haven't met yet. Number two, if you can commit 
And I want you guys to commit to this. And I'll challenge you. As you're listening to this, take a screenshot of it, head over to Instagram, and tag me in a post in your story. And just write, I commit. If you can commit for the next 12 months to focus on establishing just builders for your business. Now, hear me out. If your downline, and it, it really doesn't matter what company you're partnered with, how the compensation plan is structured. We all want customers. We all want consumers. We're not going to deny that. But we, we also can't deny that the way that you create massive residual income in network marketing is through building a team. Because the people that build the business with you are the people that also bring new customers and new builders in. And those people that are building under those people are the ones that also bring customers, consumers, and new builders in, and so on and so on. So if you can solely focus these next 12 months, and again, I want you to head over to Instagram, tag me in your story, take a snapshot of this and just put, I commit. And my handle on Instagram is at Scott Aaron LinkedIn. Focus on building your downline of just builders because the quality people that you bring in, you will see the quantity of people in your downline grow. The old way of the quantity of people leads to the quality. It doesn't work anymore. You can enroll all the consumers you want, but I know as you're listening to this, you're having a tough time getting those people to cross the bridge because they don't want to build. They're happy using the products, but even if they were interested at one point in the business, they're quote unquote struggling. They're finding it difficult. They're coming up with excuses. So instead of trying to drag people across the bridge, go connect with people that have a business mindset like they do on LinkedIn and lead with the business and close with the product. Number three, really focus on creating your own social media brand identity. The more that you guys can focus on truly creating your own social media brand identity, the more your business is going to grow. A lot of people are struggling right now because they've turned into social media robots. They're posting the same things that their team is posting. They're seeing this, they're posting the same transformation. They see their upline, downline, cross line, diagonal line, whoever's posting it. And you're really just on just automation at this point. It's just automatic. You're not putting any thought or any creativity into it. Because don't forget, I've said this before, and you guys may have heard me say this on a Facebook Live. The network marketing company that you've partnered with, they own your downline. They own your back office. They own the ability to pay you. And if that faucet is turned off and they cut you off from that, because you don't own your downline, you don't own those people, you don't own any of the customers underneath you, the company does, but what you do own is your own personal brand identity. So when you can really start focusing on building your own brand identity, having fun, creating some sort of theme every single week of what you do, you know, a Motivation Monday, a Tips Tuesday, a Wealth Wednesday, a Transformation Thursday, a Fun, fun Fact Friday, whatever it is. When you can start to really build out your social media brand identity, it's going to separate you from everyone else. Remember, the science of getting rich is living in a world of creation and collaboration instead of a world of competition and comparison. So what do a lot of people in network marketing do? They compare themselves to the people that are really having quote unquote success and they just do as they do. Sometimes that works, sometimes it doesn't. But what always works is when you are genuine, authentic, and real with your messaging with your voice and with your brand. So really focus on moving away from being a social media robot and building out your own structured personal social media brand identity. Number four, 
Start listening to the right people. Start listening to the people that are really, really doing big things. And stop listening to the wrong people. Just because someone enrolled you and just because you're on a certain team, that doesn't mean that you can't go and see what other teams within your company are doing. That doesn't mean that you can't go hire a coach outside of your team or your upline or your enrolling sponsor. Don't feel that you are 100% married to your upline, to your enrolling sponsor, and to the team that you're on. If you feel that something is just not resonating with you, if you feel that something is just not working, remember, we're not a tree, just move. Reach out for additional help. Look at what some of the successful people that are in and out of network marketing are doing. And does it resonate with you? Could what they're doing help you and your business? Because I think at the end of the day, and what I really feel is that we all know if what we're doing is really resonating with us. We all know if we're feeling that pull that's, that says that, that little voice in our head that says, you know what, I got to start looking outside of this group. I got to look outside of my team because it's been the same regurgitation for year after year after year. And yes, those people are succeeding, but it's not helping me. So instead of listening to the wrong people, seek out and start listening, start connecting with, and start following the right people. Because when you change something that you're doing, something will change in your business. So fifth and final, and this is probably the most important one. I want you guys to ask yourself this question. And I really want, as you're listening to this, I really want you to sit with this, this question. If I could do anything outside of network marketing to create income and impact, what would it be? So I want you to think about that answer in your head, outside of network marketing, life after network marketing. If, if you decided to pivot and do something else outside of network marketing, right? What else would I want to do to create impact and income outside of my network marketing opportunity? The one thing that people need to realize is that there is always a life after network marketing. Did I ever expect to train people on how to use LinkedIn to speak to small, medium, and large companies write books and have this podcast even? No. But I started to listen to my heart. I got out of my head and I got into my heart because I had other passions outside of my network marketing opportunity. I, I loved speaking. I loved writing. I, I loved training. I loved doing videos and ended up falling in love with podcasting. So I really want to encourage you guys to start thinking about life after network marketing. Three to five years from now, again, you could still be doing network marketing, but what else are you going to create outside of that? Remember, the average millionaire has three to five streams of income. And if network marketing is your only stream of income, and God forbid something happens to your company where they change the compensation plan, which you don't have a say in. They change the pricing structure of the products, which you don't have a say in. They switch from the network marketing model to the pure distribution model, which you don't have a say in. What else would you do for income and impact outside of network marketing? I really want you to think about that question. So guys, remember, don't target friends and family. Really start to connect with people outside of that. 
focus the next 12 months. Remember, tag me on Instagram at Scott Aaron LinkedIn in your Instagram story. I commit. If you can commit to really focusing the next 12 months on building a team and a downline of builders, leading with the business, closing with the products. No more being a social media robot, really creating your own brand identity on social media. Start listening to the right people outside of your team, outside of your upline and enrolling sponsor. Start to expand what you're doing. And think about life after network marketing. Not saying that you're going to leave network marketing, but outside of network marketing. What else do you want to do to create in income and impact? So guys, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Again, in the show notes will be the direct link to my brand new book and the direct link to join my free Facebook community, Network Marketing Leads for Life. I hope you enjoyed my first solo episode in seven months and there's more to come. So please enjoy the rest of your day and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye-bye, everybody. Thank you again so much for checking out this week's episode. And if you can, head over to iTunes, search for Network Marketing Made Simple. Leave me a five-star rating, basic review. I would be grateful for all of the support you guys can give me. And again, if you'd be interested in learning more, how to utilize LinkedIn to grow your business, your brand, and your bank account, head over to my website, www.scotterron.net. Fill out the form for your free 15-minute discovery call so I can learn more about you, your business, and how we can work together. And again, thank you guys so much. Grateful for you all, and I'll see you next time.